it was so beautiful. I mean, just a tribal um, respect and, and homage to their country, to their land, to their people, to their culture, to their families. Everything about this was absolutely beautiful beautiful just from the very beginning with the sand being dropped in slow motion i was like oh this is visually stunning what are we in for here and then just everything about it the makeup the costumes the the traditional uh you know clothing the choreography um the the various different versions of shooting how they shot the land and the respect for the land um, that section by the river, the section that was done by the river, absolutely stunning, really quite beautiful. Um, I loved the field in the field with the four dancers. Lovely. That rock building um, with the four female dancers. So beautiful. And their their costumes. Oh, I just I love the shots. I love the way that you shot this, the close ups. The, there was a close up of an eye at one point that just blew me away. I was like, this is beautiful. Um, and the editing was gorgeous too. I just really felt like it was such a celebration of the culture and the community and the land. And um, it was just really beautiful. So congratulations, it's stunning. I was really blown away by the wardrobe design. It was stunning and incredibly detailed. And I liked that through the cinematography, we got to focus on a lot of those smaller details. I think that the film did a great job of presenting the central character as really otherworldly and godlike and having emerged from the elements themselves. I think that overall, to me, the film was about collective identity. I don't think any, other than the central figure, I don't think any one individual stood out. And I think that nature and tradition and the value of both of those things in relation to a cultural identity were all strong messages that the film sent throughout. And I think that one thing that really stuck out to me was the moment where we had the three characters with the masks and the masks of like the more blonde figure and the sort of caricatures of, to me, the opposite of a lot of what the rest of the film showed. And I think that that was important to have that contrast because it again shows us the importance of tradition and how sort of we've strayed from that and what it is we may have lost in the process. Such a cool uh, visual experience. It really did uh, bring in so much culture and I like that that was what the focus was on and something about this was uh, that really stood out was the fact that it being a dance uh, film there is no dialogue to explain what's happening or to uh, really break down each piece um, into words it was just this is uh, traditional culture. This is the music that plays. This is the wardrobe they would wear. And these are the dances they would do. And I think it was just such a beautiful way of um, representing a culture and to really show a sense of appreciation to it. And um, yeah, it was just such a beautiful thing to really experience. And it's very rare, I feel like, that people do things like this where they get to highlight uh, where their people come from and sense of culture comes from and to really celebrate it and to bring light to it and to get 40 ish minutes of that is just really inspiring to see and i hope more cultures get to see something like this where they really can be highlighted in a sense where it is traditional and you get to see the wardrobe and you hear the music and i get a sense of why um certain dances are being done for different reasons so uh yeah overall really great job it was really fun to watch and it was such a beautiful um love to this culture so great. well this one certainly lives up to its title everything about this piece was just so vibrant the costumes are very vivid and each of the dances is just so full of life i thought the camera work was fantastic the way that they zoomed in on the feet so we could really see how everybody was moving. And I especially loved um, one of the earlier dances when the camera just perfectly matched that 
dizzy kind of drunk feeling of the dance. The ending was fantastic how everything came together into one scene and you could see like all those costumes together. I think this piece is a really nice way to preserve tradition and share culture. I learned a lot from it and I really enjoyed watching it. It was absolutely gorgeous. I loved how we're introduced to the dancers with like a black background and they're kind of eerily coming in and out of focus. Um, and then we get to see them outside in nature, um, dancing and the music playing and the costumes, everything was absolutely beautiful. It felt like watching a stage um, production in real life and being able to be immersed in it. I think the camera work um, and the editing was really, really great in capturing those moments of, of beauty in the dancing and the costumes and the music. So really, really wonderful piece. I thought the production value on this one was through the roof. It's just filled with great wardrobe and makeup and uh, excellent lighting and, and cinematography. Um, some surprises in there. Definitely uh, shot very well, edited well, all that it's put together really, really well. The whole piece just really keeps uh, keeps delivering in, in a new and, and fresh way every time we have a, a major scene change. All of it just, again, really, really smartly done. Definitely worth checking out. Get a title, Vibrant Land. I think title. it had great production value, great costuming. I think it had a great storyline, just almost like the one dancer represented like a nation, like the rise and fall of a, a, a South American, Middle American, or Middle America, Central America. Oh my gosh, a Central American nation. Um, I think there was a lot of Central American and South American influence in the piece as well with the costuming and all of the music as well. But overall, it was it was an incredible story with incredible production value, and everyone on the team did such a good job. Um, and these dancers should be incredibly proud. I just really enjoyed this piece. Wow, what a big sprawling epic story we're telling here. And we're kind of like starting off in the, in the underworld here, and almost like it's, it feels like we're seeing the birth of like a, a god like uh, figure. And then he seems to be kind of the the, the motivating. Uh, force through the rest of the piece and we got all these different cultures you know we're seeing like the farmers and then we're seeing like a bit kind of the purge happening <laughs> people in masks going around wrecking stuff um and um so many different cultural iconic images you know native american you got uh, you know indian and um mexican and you know different styles of music we got eastern music we got mexican music it's it's all over the place in a cool way, you know, it's called the vibrant land. So it's kind of like we're saying the whole earth is vibrant, so the whole, you know, all cultures are. And, um, you know, the the costuming and makeup, especially the end, the very end is very cool. You know, the the, the, the kind of the deified character um, looks very, looks very cool, almost with an Egyptian type of headdress. I love the, the striped red makeup on the face. And everybody looked really neat like that, though. But, um yeah, so it was kind of like a all Earth, all planet, mythical, mystical, mythological um, story happening here. It was very cool. Um, you know, great performances, absolutely wonderful performers. They all did a great job. Um, love the makeup and costuming. I love the choreography. Um, you know, it was directed, edited, shot wonderfully. So great job on this. I, I, I hope it gets out there and gets seen because the, the team, the whole team did a great job. Uh, traditions, a lot of dance, a lot of cool. There's a lot of great patches in this thing. Some amazing dances, some amazing pictures. Uh, it was just too long. Uh, there was no real connecting thread except for this. The opening image was good. It was, uh, as you see at the end, they bookend it with this sort of spirit that comes out of the ground and then the dancing begins and then the spirit goes back into the ground. It was uh, really wonderful. I say it basically served as a 40 minute love letter to Mexican culture, which you know I myself have a great appreciation for. I like that they spend a lot of time on the indigenous people and their style of dance. And that's probably a part of their culture that's far too often underserved. So it was great to see them getting their flowers here. Um, and I was, <laughs> I love the music, but I was very thrown off when it started with a traditional Mexican ballad, then it suddenly shifted to this hardcore metal tune uh, for all these masked dancers. <laughs> but uh, that was great. I loved all the scenery as well, for sure. The best shots were by far uh, the ones in the mountains. 
um, with that, you know, that sequence with the cowboy. Uh, if you wanted to make a tourism video for Mexico, this is definitely the one.